to the counting house. doing here this is uh, my apprenticeship it has not been what I expected master Laroican is um, a difficult man he's consumed by his pursuit of the night song I haven't learned a thing and I fear it'll stay that way <clears throat> but never mind that what can I do for you it's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Be very sure before you make to visit the Roican. He's got a beastly temper. But if you really do know something, he'll want to see you. Head upstairs. You can find the way into his tower up there. How can I help you? Huh. I suppose that at least I can help with. Hope you found what you're looking for. Magical relics for Seems like Gail's time. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroakin's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The Night Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. Oh, 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 oh. Hold very still, Niklaw. Uh, Craig's aim is much improved, but, uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Mm. We have a visitor. That is. McClaw, you may go. See no night song. Uh, surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand. 
Surely you wouldn't have wasted my time. And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> uh, the night song. Do you have it or not? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell. You've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? to be some consolation. She, it, was the key to my immortality. How can this be? How can this be? Shit! Ow. Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Magicians and their machinations. I have had enough for an eternity. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Oh, his end will be one more strand in the great braid of our friendship. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite Enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hi, we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me.
here. A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. Oh my god. The Night Song is a person. By my honor, it's you. My dear, I thought you were. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a wealth without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am the Rowican. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. And that of your fine companion. Who perhaps heard I was looking for you? mine, I assure you. Perhaps I ought to explain why I went to such tremendous lengths to find you. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. But his magic lives. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asima, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lerorkin. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Watch your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan, we who detest you so. Myrmidons! Imperatum!
forever dauntless. Fleet of foot. Take you.
Leroican. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! The Firehead Fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... Sadness. 